Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I hope that everybody's doing great. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Harley Quinn. And <laughs> today I am going to show you guys how I created this look. Um, so as you can tell, I am going to be Harley Quinn for Halloween and I wanted to show you guys how I created the look. It's very simple, very easy, took me no time at all and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, I also, of course I wasn't going to cut my hair off or, um, you know, paint my hair blonde or anything. So, uh, this is what we're working with. I bought a little bit of like spray paint and just kind of sprayed the tips of my hair and I got bangs and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video um let's go into how I created this look okay you guys so let's start this uh, transformation I am so 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 excited okay so first things first I am gonna go in with uh primer so I'm gonna go in with the no a pore blem primer and this is by touch and soul and i really do like this um primer i actually got it at tj maxx for 9.99 and i do like this primer a lot because i do feel like it blurs my pores so i'm gonna go in with this Okay, so next thing we are going to go in with is foundation. And I have two foundations here. Now, Harley Quinn, um, she is very pale, uh, more like in the white side. <laughs> like, she's pale white. Um, and obviously, I am not. So, I pulled some of the foundations that I think are very pale for me. So, I have the Flower Beauty uh, foundation. And this one is in natural beige. Um, it looks a little light. And then I also have this uh, Wet n Wild stick foundation, and this one is in Classic Ivory, so I know for a fact that this one is really, really pale. So I'm going to go in with this one, and I might go on top of it with the Flower Beauty, just because um, I'm not a fan of stick foundations. I find them to be a little drying, but yeah, this is like super pale for me, so I think this is going to work out perfect actually for what we are trying to uh, do Okay, so now for concealer, I'm going to go in with my Jeffree Star concealer. Um, this concealer is like really, really, really pale for me. It's uh, C7, so I'm going to go in with this one by itself. I normally um, use it in conjunction with other um, concealers that are a little too dark. But since we are trying to look pale today, I'm just going to go in with this one by itself. Okay, so I think we are looking <laughs> very pale. So on top of um, all this paleness, I'm also going to go in with the um, Revolution Beauty Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And this is like a very white powder. So I'm going to go on top of my foundation and concealer with this powder just to give it a little bit more paleness. Harley Quinn is very, very, very pale. So... Um, I need to, you know, <laughs> cover my tan a little.
So I'll put up in the screen like um, some of the looks that I'm basing myself off of. Um, her makeup is kind of hard to see in some of these pictures. Um, so I'm kind of, you know, just kind of base myself like of, of what I remember from the movie and then also these pictures that I am um, posting here so you guys can see. Um, even though she is very pale, it does seem to me like she has a little bit of bronzer going on. So I'm going to go in with also a, a light bronzer. And it seems to me like it's also kind of like a cool tone bronzer. It's not very warm. So I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match um, Lumi bronzer. It has a little bit of a, a, a luminous look to it, but it's okay. Um, it's very light and I think it's going to do the trick. It's also a little cool tone, so I think that it's going to look good. And also like her cheek is very defined, so I'm gonna try to define mine as much as I can. Um, she also doesn't seem to be wearing like a lot of blush, but I think I'm going to add a little blush just so I don't look that, you know, I'm trying to look pretty like Harley Quinn. Um, so I'm going to go in with the um, Kylie Jenner Press Blush and we're going shopping and it's like an orangey pinkish tone blush and I'm just going to add a little bit. Again, she doesn't seem like she's wearing any, but... I think that it'll look pretty. She also doesn't seem to have on highlight, so I'm not gonna use like a shimmery or like super overpowering highlight. I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty highlight um, just because it looks more like it's a glow from within more than, you know, a powder highlight. Uh, and I'm just going to take it on my sponge. Now for her eye look. Her eye look is what had me like a little bit um, unsure of what it was. So at first I thought that it was just like a little bit of white eyeshadow and then a lot of like black eyeliner. But then I noticed she has like a little bit of like a dark blue on the outer corners. So I'm going to do a little bit of that. I'm going to do like a little bit of dark blue on the outer corner and then I'm going to focus on like um like a white shimmer maybe um on the lid so i pulled some of my um palettes that um have some of these colors so i have the um becca uh, volcano goddess there is a nice blue in here i also pulled out the urban k wired um there is a bright blue here um, I also pulled the Profus Profusion Temptress palette because um, there's a couple of blues here that also can work for me. And then I pulled this NYX um, Love Lust Disco Foil. This is from their Christmas collection last year. You can still find some of these um, at either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Um, I bought mine last year when it came out. Um, so I don't know if they'll have this specific shade, uh, this specific palette, but you can still find these at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Um, but there's like a nice white shade here that I might be able to use on my lid. So I think that I'm gonna go, let's see. I'm actually, I'm thinking that I'm just gonna use the Profusion palette and then the NYX palette. So let's just play it by ear and see um, what we come up with. So I'm gonna go in with my primer. So I'm just gonna use my Milani primer 
just to prep my eyes for shadow. And then she um she has a lot of like black eyeliner, so we're gonna focus on that. I don't think she has a wing or anything. I think it's like smudged on the top and the bottom, so that is what we are going to do. I kind of wanted to pick well, I picked this specific um look of Harley Quinn because of her uh, clothing because I just I fell in love with the outfit that she's wearing and I'm so glad that in this Birds of Prey movie her makeup is not as you know smudged and all over the place as with the other movie um and we can also or and we can actually get a pretty makeup look um, you know from this movie so I was very excited about that so now that my eyes are prepped I'm gonna go in with shadow and I think first I'm going to prep my lids for um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna set the primer uh, I'm gonna go in with the um, brush that comes in the palette I've, actually I haven't tried this palette I bought it a while ago and I still haven't used it <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with this shade right here this shade is called courage and I'm just going to set the primer Actually, I wanted to go in with just this palette, but I think I'm going to have to go into the Urban Decay because I think that the blue and the Urban Decay is matte as to where the dark blue in this palette is just shimmer. So let's see. Yeah, this one's more like a matte. So I'm going to go in with this blue right here. It's called Chaos. And let's see. I'm going to take the flatter part of my brush. I'm going to go into that blue. It was very, very pigmented. I'm just going to start here and then we're gonna smudge it in a minute that is a very pigmented blue and like I said like I couldn't like really tell what her eyeshadow was just because at, the, at first I thought it was just like white like a white color but then I realized that she had a little bit of blue on the outer corner so I don't want to go too crazy with the blue either but I know it's there, so I definitely want to make a show. And it's not like all over the lid or like, you know, so I'm just going to focus it on this outer part of my lid because that's how it looked like it is on the pictures. I actually like this blue because it like it kind of fades to like a little bit of a darker blue this doesn't stay so like navy like when you first put it on because I think hers is more darker than this but I don't I just realized that I don't have a lot of blues <laughs> in my collection I went through some of my palettes and I realized that I don't really have much blue so I think I'm going to leave it like this for now and I'm going to take another flat brush let's see I'm going to take this flat brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to go this is a nice white on the um, Urban Decay palette as well it's called Glitch so I'm going to go into that white and I'm going to put it on my lids first and then we'll go to a different white in the other palette. So we're going to use this one as our base. And like her makeup is not perfect, it is a little bit smudged um, according to the picture so it's not like you know it's professionally done. <laughs> her makeup is definitely smudged. 
so that's why I'm not being like perfect with it. So I've definitely used a white there. Okay, so I think that now I'm going to, I'm gonna try this color here. It's like a, it's like a white, but it, there's a little bit of cream in there as well. This one's called Charm. I'm gonna top it off. I'm gonna top this white off with this one to see. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I like this one. That's very pretty. I like this. Yeah, I think that's going to be perfect. I'm also going to put it like in my inner corner as well. Oh yeah, that's pretty. And this shade has like a little bit of like a greenish bluish shift to it. So that works perfectly for this look. Move them to the inner corner. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a fluffier brush and I'm just gonna go through the hard edges just so everything looks nice and blended. I'm also gonna take some of that same white charm and shade and just, yeah. Her shadow um, in the pictures definitely don't look like they have shimmer, um, but this is actually very, very pretty. I actually like this quite a lot, and I think it's going to be fine. You can, make, you can make your Halloween looks your own too, you know? <laughs> so, I definitely want the blue to pop out a little bit, but I want the white to be the main focus. Plus, we're going to smudge um, black liner as well. So I think that as far as eyeshadow, I think that's good. Her eyeshadow is not very complicated or complex or, you know, she doesn't have like a million shades there either. So I think this is perfect. Now we're going to go in with eyeliner. It doesn't seem like she's wearing like a liquid liner on her top lash. So I'm not going to, I'm just going to take a black liner and I'm kind of, and I'm just going to smudge it out. So, I'm gonna do. so I have a um, Too Faced one here and it's actually perfect because it has one of those little smudgy things at the end. So I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use it pretty heavily because she has a lot of um, liner on both her top and lower lashes so it seems like my Too Faced um, liner is really really dry I don't know what happened so I'm going to go with the Urban Decay um, Perversion um, liner it's also a black liner and I think this one's going to be a lot softer
So I'm gonna go back into the Perfusion palette and there's a shape here called Onyx. I'm gonna use that with like a pencil brush and I'm gonna use it to help me smudge the, um, the eyeliner on my bottom lash. Cause she does have a lot of like black eyeliner underneath her lash line in the bottom. Yeah. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because her makeup is some, like a little bit smudged too. So she didn't just come out of the salon, you know? <laughs> Plus, this is the scene where she's like being a badass and fighting all those guys. So I imagine that her makeup is not going to be perfect. So now I don't wear false lashes, so I'm really going to um, build my lashes. So I'm going to use a um, lash primer to help me boost. And I'm also going to um, use the Ofra um, HD um, mascara because it's really good for volume. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm also going to do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay, so the eyes are done. I also did my eyebrows. Um, I did my eyebrows. I tried to do them a little thick just because hers are really thick. Um, so I tried to do mine, you know, a little thick. Um, and then I layer on the mascara as much as I could. Um, and the primer as well helped. So I think that now we are going to move on to the lips. And for lips, I have, I thought that the Hocus Pocus one from ColourPop will be perfect because i think that there's a red in here that is kind of dark so i just kind of have to go through them and see which one it is and then because um it seems like she has like a darker lip liner and then uh a dark red but lighter than the lip liner see like this i think will be perfect let's see that one was sarah's kit let's see mary so I think that I'm going to use a Sarah's lip liner and I'm going to use Mary's lipstick just because hers, <clears throat> Harley Quinn, her lip liner is a lot darker than the actual lipstick. So that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> Improvise, and we are going to try and use a little bit of this liquid liner on the outside just because hers look like it's darker. Okay, so I think that the last step is a little hard on the side <laughs> so let's see if i can do this and then i feel like i'm not perfect <laughs> can i repeat these on my cheek So this is it as far as the makeup goes and now I'm going to go and do my hair and I'm going to bring you guys with me. I bought um, these 
uh, hair sprays from um, Walmart. They were $1.98. We're going to see how it shows on my hair. Obviously, I'm not going to go blonde just to be Harley Quinn. Um, so, <laughs> so we are going to see if these show up in my dark hair. Hopefully, they will. So, let's do this. Can I do this? Okay. I will come with weight. Mm -hmm. I'm cold. Okay, next. This one doesn't show up as much. Smells weird. You see Kathy Wara. Okay, guys, so this is my completed costume. Now, um, I did uh, change into a different shirt, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, I just don't feel comfortable with my arms um, to show them um, ever. <laughs> I always have my arms covered, um, always, just because I, I don't like my arms. Um, so I decided to wear this shirt instead, and I think that it looks really cute. I just tied it up here just because it's a very baggy, um, crop top, and so I just tied it up here just to give the same illusion as the tank top that Harley Quinn wears in the movie. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just, like every costume, I made it my own, so this is what I came up with. But I wanted to show you guys like the outfit. Um, the overalls are just so stinking cute. I bought these overalls actually um, in Hot Topic, like in the beginning of quarantine. And I bought them, well, because I wanted to wear them for Halloween, but also because this is my favorite outfit that Harley Quinn wears in the movie. This is my absolute favorite. I love this outfit so much. I just need the um, the skates and I think that I'll be all set um, but um, I am wearing some tan tennis shoes um, to go with this outfit she does wear uh, like this type of gold um, boots that she wears in the pictures but I don't have boots like that obviously so I'm just gonna be wearing my comfortable um, tan sneakers and I think that they match perfectly and I'm probably just gonna wear the same exact outfit you know I want to feel comfortable I don't want to feel uncomfortable um, I do have the um, the little velvet sports bra that Harley wears in the movie um, I have it um, underneath the shirt but I'm not gonna go out in something that I don't feel comfortable with um, so that's why I decided to um, buy this shirt instead just because it covers my arms just like I like it um, but given like tying it here just gives it that something that um, I still feel you know like I'm part of like the movie um, Harley Quinn so I really love this outfit. I love how everything came out. I love how the makeup came out. I love how the hair looks. I love it, you know? Like, I feel like Harley Quinn, but me, you know? So, I love it. I enjoy it so much. I love this costume so much. I can't stop saying that because I just, I'm really, really in love with this costume. And I hope that you guys are in love with it as much as I am as well. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you what the um, overalls look like they are just so freaking cute i love them so much i'm sorry about the lighting i know it's late it's like almost 11 o'clock at night but i really want to get this video up um before christmas uh, before christmas yeah i definitely want to get it up before christmas but i want to get it up before halloween so um that's why i am filming this late because halloween is quickly approaching but it's okay uh, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as I turn myself into Harley Quinn for Halloween. So yeah, this is my outfit. This is my costume. I hope that you guys Hey you guys, so this is the completed look. And this is how I turned into Harley Quinn. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun. I'm going to show you a... Uh, a full view of my costume. Um, I bought my overalls from Hot Topic and these overalls are like the best purchases I have ever made. Um, 
I love them so much and yes I did cut my bangs but I've been wanting to cut my bangs for a while so this was just the perfect opportunity to do so and I am very happy with the way that they came out um but like I said I bought the overalls at Hot Topic and they are my favorite purchase ever um I can use these overalls like for um, maybe anime conventions or things like that that sometimes I go to with my sister. Um, they are very nicely made. They don't feel costume at all. Like they feel like actual um, overalls and I'm so happy to have purchased them. And then the top, I actually bought this one at the Spirit of Halloween store. Um, it's the, um, the, you know, top that Harley wears. And the movie is like velvety and it's so soft and comfortable and this is something that I can use always too to go to the gym or whatever because um, it's, it's kind of like a sports bra and I love it. And so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that I, you know, gave, gave you a little bit of an idea of something fun to do for Halloween. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell and leave me a comment down below and I'll catch you guys on my next video.